Welcome to Bella Vistal. I'm so glad you came to play with us today. Um, today, today, I have started my house finally. See it up there? And I'm going to work on it a little bit with you. And I'm going to... Uh, i got to deal with this. Oh, look, Frost is here. Maybe we should try and get her to join us. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever met Frost. Um... So we're going to work on this a bit today. That doesn't work there. Say hey there, Frost. Um, that cobble needs to be wood. I am not the best at building houses. I've watched lots of tutorials to try and figure this out. And um, I know there isn't room. This should be this too. This should be up and down. One, two, three, four. I know that there's probably a lot of things I should do differently, but, um, you know, live and learn. I don't know if I like that. So, so we shall see. We shall see what we get. Oh, look at that. Rhino's here. Oops. Yeah, I can type. Part of the problem is um, on the Feed the Beast server, I have we have event chat and I don't have to hit T. Plus, we Skype a lot. And <laughs> going back and forth, I'm forever hitting T in Skype. Oh, my fingers are not behaving today. I'm forever hitting T in Skype and um... starting everything with T, you know, starting all my sentences with T, and then I totally forget to do it when I'm actually in in-game, and I'm doing in-game chat. Nope. And I didn't bring an axe with me. So, so it's been a while since I've done anything really serious on on this server. What did I do downstairs? I think I did wood. And I've really basically just done little stuff. So there's going to be steps here and a half slab. That's going to be a half slab. And then stair steps out there. Because I'm kind of going for that medieval hangover look, like hanging over the edge look. And I don't like that. I think I'm out of wood though. Um, I say um a lot lately. <coughs> it's been, it's been a really busy time for me. Uh, just, just staying busy doing, doing stuff. I like the window. And this is going to be a solid wall because back here, this space is reserved for the gate, the redstone gate that I want to put in down there, down, I don't, in the entrance to my shops. I'll see if I can get a good view of it. Right there. That, you know, I have that step that comes up and, um, and I may take out that little top and just make it be flat. I have that step that I can currently move up and it, that's going to get changed. And this will be actual stairs, maybe too wide to make them look nice with a railing. And this will be filled in with something. I've always wanted an outdoor kitchen. Maybe I'll make an outdoor kitchen up here. You know I'm not much into furniture, into fake furniture. You can't sit on it, so what's the point? So. Who knows what I'll put in up here. And that redstone that you see there is from the lighting in the top of the, the portico. One, two, three. What should that be? Oh, I'm so bad at making decisions. On Feed the Beast, 
uh, the guy that I'm doing some of my work with, I'm always like, do you think we should do this? Do you think we should do that? And he's like, whatever you want. And I'm like, I can't decide. You decide. That was one good thing about doing work with Michael, with my husband, because he's used to making decisions for me. <laughs> So I'm wondering, oh, how do people just know? I'm thinking I need to do some cobble up there to break it up. Break up the wood. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I like the look, although I don't like cobble, I like the look of the cobble. I think it looks very medieval. And it might be nice to have a big window here. Look to look out over. I love my town. I wish that I had been recording when I first started this, when I first started playing here, because you would see the difference of how it looks now compared to how it did look. It's it's just amazing. I'm not the best builder, not by far, but I'm very proud of what I've done here. I'm very excited about what it looks like and how it looks all put together and, and so busy, but not in a bad way. Not it's, I mean, everything's pretty, relatively. I know there's people out there who build way better than I do, but I like my builds. And I like the variety I have. It's not all just little houses, although we still have Sammy's house, or Glitch's house, that we need to deal with. Um, I have the Arboretum, I have the Mushroom Farm, I have the Theme Park over there, I have the mine. We don't even use that mine anymore, it's just there for show. <laughs> I think it's cleaned, cleaned out. I went mining this morning in preparation for this video so that I'd have plenty of supplies. I got, I think three stacks of iron and I got, um, I think I found 10 diamond, I diamond ore. So, that was nice, it was nice to get And then windows, let's go out and see what that looks like. I'm also considering if any of my viewers who are watching this, yeah, and then we'll put the roof on up there and we'll make it a cobblestone roof. That'll work. How much cobblestone do I have? See, I brought this stone brick, but I'm thinking no. Stone, I use stone brick everywhere because I don't like the cobble, but we need to we need to break off and do something outside of our comfort zone. Um, I think I have some steps made. Oh, not very many. I'll just leave them. So if any of my viewers are also, if any of my viewers of this series also watch my Feed the Beast series, which is starting up, it has a new name that'll be announced, I think, in the next video. Maybe the one after that. I have to make a new intro. It was named, if you read the comments, you'll see what it was named because it was one of my viewers that named it. Um, but, oh dear. Oh, I can probably pull that off, can I? Um, And I'm considering, we have quite a few people on the server, not all of them record, which is cool. I'm Shockingly enough, we all have lives outside of Minecraft and outside of YouTube. <coughs> um, so, I'm considering whether or not we should invite another YouTuber on. And I'm, I've been looking in light of that, I've been looking at some YouTubers that are, have small channels and might be looking, seem like they want to be growing their channels. Um, 
but I'm wondering what you think. I haven't really talked, I've talked to one other person on the server about the possibility. I haven't really talked to everybody and of course I'd want to talk to everybody first and see what they think because we do have a nice group going and we all have a lot of projects going. Ouch! Darn it! Um, Rallyman's on the server. Pickles is on the server. Uh, who else from here? I think that's it from here. Um, I really don't want to load it up with a bunch of people who aren't recording, and so I kind of, kind of that's it for now. Um, oh, come on, place. Again? I hit the wrong key. So, tell me what you think. If if you're if you're out there, I know that people watch my videos. I'm not looking for, you know, confirmation or I know that my videos get watched. Not a lot, but that's okay. If I'm entertaining four people, it's worth it. Um Oh. No. This is so annoying. Um, but if you also watch Feed the Beast, if you don't, you absolutely should go check it out. At least go check it out, because I know nothing about Feed the Beast. And it's going to be really funny to watch me. I'm already, like I already, I teamed up with Luke because he knows more about it than I do. And we're doing stuff together. And Minigun Mike is doing it, but he doesn't have time to do it the way he would like to. So, so we're going to do it separately for now. Oh dear, what did I do over there? I put a log. And then what am I going to do here? I think I'm going to put wood. Yes. Um, so, oh, I thought I was going to walk off. I'm so tired of walking off the edge and taking fall damage. And even, like, it's at the point where I'm way too confident, and even my, does that fix that? No. My feather falling boots, look, I have feather falling four, and they don't save me anymore, because I've... I just take such big falls. Um, what else is new? <gasps> Star Wars has been announced that they're going to make J um, they're going to make s what is it? What are they on now? The next three movies. Darn it! Oh, are you kidding me? Did I look at an Enderman? Do you hear that? Did I look at an Enderman? I don't think so. I think I could ender pearl up there. I think I have ender pearls. Almost. Um Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I I just really love the series, the movies. I'm I'm a big geek. I'm a big nerd. I love science fiction. Science fiction rocks. I'm not going to apologize for that. And... Um... What else? Oh, Star Trek. That's what's coming out that I'm really looking forward to. Star Trek's going to be released in May. Into the Darkness. And you know, I'm not, like... I watched the original episode. It was in reruns, but I did watch the original episodes. And I was never really impressed with the next generation. And then uh, the girls, Frost Frame and Glitch, got into it. And I watched it with them, and I realized that I was. I don't know why I wasn't into it. I just. at the time. But now I love it. Are you kidding me? So, 
then we went to watch the movies because they'd never seen the movies and they didn't have them on Netflix last year but they did have the prequel the one with Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto I don't know if I'm saying his name right but that's okay I'm sure he's heard worse with Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto who play if you don't know Chris Pine plays James T. Kirk and it gives some of the background story about where Kirk came from and how their friendship started. I th think it's an alternate reality version. And that was my, if you heard that music, that was my event telling me somebody logged in. I don't know how to change that yet. But they won't come in. This is my recording room. They won't come in. Um... So I'm rambling about this, but I am trying. I'm concentrating on these stupid roof steps and my fingers who don't want to behave today. Um, I think that it's like an alternate reality type thing. Not supposed to be completely 100% on, but a lot of things are on, like are very much the same as to what they would, would have been. And... Yeah. I really, I thought, oh, this is just going to be another one of those wannabes. And it wasn't. I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, shoot. Darn it. I um, think I can get up there again? Sure, I can. Hey. And I fall right away. I'm glad that I'm here for your entertainment. Um, I really enjoyed it. And I'm really... So then the girls and I watched... All, uh, the, all of the shows were on Netflix. We watched The Next Generation. We watched Voyager. We watched some of Deep Space Nine. But not all of it. I can't get as into Deep Space Nine as I could. Which is funny because in the day when it was new on TV that was the one I really liked <laughs> was Deep Space Nine but not so much anymore um, and we watched the there's a new newer series that came out after Voyager called Enterprise which is before Kirk it was in the beginning and that was really cool it was really well done although I didn't exactly love um, oh, who played the lead? One, two, three. I didn't love... Um, I heard that. Did you hear that? I heard that. Frostweaver's having some... Uh, I think I need to eat before I fall. Some connection issues there, huh? I need to go make more steps. Um, oh, I cannot think of who it was. I hate it when that happens. But I didn't think he did the greatest job acting, but I think maybe it's his personality and his acting style and not, not lack of talent. Because he did, he's the same guy who led, did the lead role in oh now we're working on my faulty memory yeah I can't get up there it's closed off um yeah anyway down I go um I didn't think he did the greatest job his name will come to me quantum leap he's the same guy who did quantum leap and I think it's his acting style because he was the same way in Quantum Leap and I liked I liked him in that I thought but I think maybe I was comparing him to like Patrick Stewart and William Shatner and you can't everybody has such a unique acting style so anyway and Wolverine we'll talk about Wolverine next time because I'm just getting down to the last bit of this episode. I'm going to have to wrap it up 
so that you guys aren't too bored listening to me ramble about my childhood crushes and my love of Star Trek geekiness. But, um, yeah. We'll see what, we'll finish this up. So tell me, tell me in the comments if you like Star Trek, if you're looking forward to the new Star Trek movie as much as I am. Um, you know what I wish? You know what I wish? I wish that I could now take a block and place it halfway, like right in the middle here, because I would love to put a chimney on this house. Ouch. No, I'm not going to jump down there. Good thing I have regeneration, huh? With all these falls. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I like that. The roof maybe should be a little steeper. But I like it. And then there will be stairs, like a nice big sweeping stairway coming down this way. So, so yeah, I'm going to do some trim up on that, finish it up. I'll show you the final product in the next video. And I, as always, appreciate you coming by. If you liked the video, oops, <laughs> you liked watching me fall and misplace blocks, feel free to leave a like. I don't ask very often. And um, if you didn't like it, by all means, don't feel compelled because I only want you, I want you to be straight with me. And if there's something you think I should do differently, uh, let me know. So until next time, Never stop Minecrafting. It's too much fun.